If you're a UI, UX, or product designer, you will know the pain of gathering useful references, especially if the screens you're looking for are behind a login. When they're behind a login, you'll have to create multiple accounts for different softwares, maybe even screenshot each individual step as you go through an onboarding screen, or at different dashboard levels. But what if I could tell you that I know a tool that makes this process 10 times faster? And that tool is called Mobbin. So let's talk why this tool is useful. If you're a product designer, UI or UX, you'll know what this feels like. You've started a new project, especially when it's product-based. There's a lot of flows that you have to make. There'll be a login flow, there'll be dashboards, there'll be password resets, and all those sorts of basic flows. And with most projects, there'll probably be a couple new flows that you don't really understand or haven't come to before, and you'll be working on how to get the best user experience with them. And if you're like me, if you run into a problem, what's the first thing you do? You go and find references and inspirations of how other businesses have solved a similar problem. So you start researching things in a similar industry or if there's competitor products, maybe how they've solved some of the challenges. But one of the issues you run into is that if they're product based as well, you have to go through the process of creating an account on their software and then going through all the onboarding flow and then going through individually and finding all the ways they've solved different problems. And maybe you'll be lucky, maybe in the first account or second account that you create for one of these softwares, you'll find a solution you're looking for. But trust me, normally it takes a while to find them. And also you're not looking to just copy exactly from one. You're looking for references and inspiration. So you'll wanna do it with multiple different pieces of software and multiple products in different industries as well. And really, this takes a lot of time and can be a massive pain sometimes. But there's a great solution that I use every day and I think most people should be using and it's called Mobbin. Quick one, this video is not sponsored by them. I just use this software almost every day and I really love this product. Saying that though, Mobbin, I've got bills to pay. If you wanna, you know, do 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 do. So let's go through what Mobbin is. In this video, we'll go through what it is, the benefits of using it, some practical use cases of how I use it. And finally, some of the things that I would like to see to be added to it one day. And maybe finally, just some pitfalls to avoid. Now let's chat about what Mobbin is and what makes it so great. Mobbin is a giant library of design references for UI and UX design. It has sections for designs in iOS, Android and web. And it has some really big brands on there like Netflix, Airbnb and Uber. I don't know what you're thinking, probably at first, it sounds like places like Dribbble or Behance, but it's actually quite different and I'll go into why it's different and why it's more useful than these places. So let's go through why it is different than Dribbble and Behance. So it's not user generated of everyone is just uploading different designs there, but the team at Mobbin are curating the designs that go up and the designs that are going up. Their designs are from places like Netflix or Airbnb or Meta. So they're actually from large organizations, which you believe that these large organizations have really good processes in place and would be testing and validating all these different designs and flows that they're putting together. So you're not just getting nicely designed screens, but you're actually getting validated ideas that solve solutions for the user. As well, there's some different levels that you can search for. You can go really deep into a component level and you can look into things like forms, or you can look at things at a page level, like a password reset screen on iOS, or a dashboard on web. Or the thing that I really like is that you can go through entire flows. So you can see what the process of like is signing up to Netflix and going through that onboarding flow. Or you could see something like how Webflow's checkout works by searching for that and you can go through that entire flow. This is so much more useful than just, for example, Dribble. You're looking at one shot of something and you're not actually seeing any of the edge cases or what any of the buttons do or what's behind that area or what's behind that area. But you can actually dive in really deep and go on a component level or you can branch out and look at an entire flow and get more of a holistic approach to it. Now let's go back to what the problem that I was talking about at the start. So say you have a new product that needs to have a really in-depth search that has different levels of advanced filtering. To be able to gather those references and inspirations really quickly by just going onto Mobbin and, and looking for flows around searching and finding, you can quickly find different examples from a lot of different industry leaders of how they've tackled different problems with this. And as I was saying before, they're not just user posted, they're from industry big dogs. The team are really good at keeping it up to date as well. I've noticed that when one of these businesses have updated one of their flows, for example, the team are really quick to create that new flow on Mobbin and upload it. So everything is constantly being updated and as well as just adding new inspiration as well. I feel like I see an email from them every other week about adding new inspiration. Another great thing I find is that there's some of these businesses I've never heard of that are in really niche subjects, 
but sometimes have really good gems of problems that I'm trying to solve that I would have never found if I was just searching on Google. They're very careful in their curation as well. They only pick things that seem to be really well crafted from my experience. It's also helped me as well. It just helps me stay on top of trends as they're constantly updating things. And as I'm going through different feeds and seeing the new things that are updated, it gives me a good idea of how businesses are changing or how products are changing things. Now let's go through a practical use of how I use this on a day-to-day -day at the studio that I work for. I find this tool is not just great for when I'm starting a project and gathering inspiration at that beginning point, but also useful when I'm moving through a project and maybe a random UX problem arises. And if you work in the industry, you'll know what I mean. Random problems always arise. An example that happened recently is I was working through a dashboard project and I needed to show a way to the user how they were progressing within a sidebar. So I started investigating sidebars. So I went on to Mobbin and I searched for sidebars, side panels. I find sometimes you have to play around with the wording as maybe what you use in your agency or studio, maybe they'll use slightly differently. So just a quick tip there. And now that I've gone through and searched, I found different relevant references that kind of solve my problem within the sidebar. And instead of needing to send a link to my coworker to see the solution, Mobbin makes it extremely easy to just copy from Mobbin and paste directly into Figma. This makes the workflow so much easier when in finding relevant references. You just copy and paste the entire flow in Figma and then being able to just gather around it at the computer and just start jamming together and discussing possible solutions. Instead, previously needing to screenshot every screen individually, being able to just copy and paste things, an entire flow saves so much time. You probably saw that as I was just going through it, but it has a really robust search as well. I find it very easy to be able to filter that search down of looking for things at a component specific level or being able to find things on a flow level. I really like the categorization of the items and the helpful filters that they have in there. Also being able to just navigate to a specific business and seeing all of the relevant flows is really helpful. Also just a small one, but being able to filter by iOS, Android and desktop is just a great touch. So you can kind of just zoom in and focus on that one area. Really with all this together, it, it makes ideating on things much faster as you just copy everything into Figma and then you can start pulling things around and pushing it around and just ideating a solution. So things that I would love to be added to Mobbin as they keep going, I would love interactions. Being able to see a flow is great, but being able to see how businesses are including micro interactions would really help as well. Also just having an area that is specific for interactions as well. I love what they're doing now for at a business level that you can curate and just look for different flows, but being able to also so just see the interactions would be a great resource to reference. So just looking through Mobbin, <laughs> I've just found that maybe they've already done this and maybe they are doing this at the moment because I just found some interactions on the website and doing the thing that I was just asking for. So I don't know if I just hadn't run across it yet, but thanks for already solving the thing that I'm asking for. But if you can keep doing that and keep building on that, that'd be great. One pitfall that I reckon you should avoid that I've run into before is, especially if you work on a team, you can get caught in the idea of just hoarding all the different references that you've found. But I actually find it much easier if you just grab five that you found already, jam on it, ideate, you can come to a solution much faster. And if it's not right, you've, you've got into that solution faster as well. And then you can just jump back on and find more references. So I hope that's helpful if you've been thinking about using Mobbin or you haven't heard of it before, but you're running into that issue as a designer of trying to find relevant references. Maybe give it a try, I'll link it down below. If you used it, let me know, make a comment below. Or if you haven't used it, or if you use something else, let me know what that product is and I'll give that one a check out as well. Thanks for watching, check out another video here.